you got to take a leap of faith in the unknown, a leap of faith towards your dream life. I've done this thing a lot many times in my life and I can tell you that whenever I did it, it was crazy. It was insane and it was not that easy at all. Like switching careers from medical to art and designing a business, then started traveling all of a sudden, traveling for 14, 15 months without even planning literally anything. I just planned for two months in the beginning and then rest everything just going with the flow. It was scary. It was crazy. Me traveling alone and figuring everything by myself. And still I am taking a leap of faith and taking the steps towards the life that I want like obviously i'm the living reality right now the kind of the life that i've always dreamed of but it's never stopped there you want more 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 and you gotta take a leap of faith if you want your life to change you gotta have faith so today i'm going to talk about the faith and taking a leap towards the unknown in the unseen planet i can say or unseen uh, situation where you can't even see the light in the end of the tunnel where you can't see how it's going to work out how you're going to be able to pull this off but still you take that leap of faith because you know that it's going to work so i'm going to talk about that hey guys welcome on this channel we talk a lot about self-improvement topics uh manifestation relationships and feminine energy topics Today we're going to talk about taking a deep leap of faith in the unknown because it's personally based on my own experience. I have done it so many times in my life. It was really, really crazy. If I talk with the other people, they're like, you are crazy. You're insane. And uh, yes, I am. But it's really helped me to live the life that I truly deserve, that I really, really wanted. And I'm still doing it. So let's dive in. Give this video a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more such videos. We have a female self-care planner if you're interested. The link is in the description. It's a PDF download. We also have the feminine energy uh, and masculine energy a short mini course. If you're interested, the links are in the description. You can very well check them out. Anyways, let's talk about uh, taking a deep leap of faith in the unknown. And how to do this now personally i am a huge risk taker like i switched the careers i started traveling without having any uh without having like a backup plan or a safety net that what if this thing won't work out then i have a plan b in place or something like that i never had it i always had the plan a in fact my friend tell me to have a plan b but then i was like if i make a plan b i would never do the plan a things i would never be able to take a deep leap of faith i would always be having the backup plan at the mind and that won't help me to go towards and give my everything to that what i want and I can tell you, based on my own experience, whenever I did that, the things always work out. And I know it was crazy. Nobody did this. Nobody actually switched the careers like I did, the way I did, like actually turning, leaving your entire medical career, entire medical background on the side and switching into art and designing without having any degree, without any experience, without having any job, without even knowing that this thing will going to work or not. What if it will going to fail? What if this thing going to happen? But I take that leap of faith in the unknown because I wanted to do that. I wanted to do something of my own. I wanted to create something of my own, something that I can really see back, looking back and I can be proud of myself that I did what I wanted to do. And that doesn't mean having a medical background or having a fixed job or a nine to five job is a bad thing. No, if you enjoyed it, if you love it, go and do that. But if you're like me and crazy, wanted to do something, that traditional route of income, traditional route of job, a traditional route of kind of the lifestyle doesn't really support. It's like the lifestyle that you want to create that you are really passionate about, that every day is an excitement for you. Every day that you wake up from your bed, you feel like, wow, this is my life. This is my ideal dream life that I'm living right now. You gotta have faith. You gotta have faith for that. I'm not telling you to take that leap of faith without having a backup plan. If it seems so scary for you to do, I did it because I'm crazy dad doing these stuffs and I did it and I in fact nobody really supported when I switched the careers my parents were even against me because they were like you're crazy who does this thing why you want to do this uh and I have no answers it was just like a calling it was just like I wanted to do something and that's lead me to doing those things and they were like 
it's not gonna work you're gonna fail you're gonna go back to that old school and i'm like i'm not going back i'm not going back i'm taking this leap of faith in the unknown and i know that the universe have my back and i trust the universe because if i'm here to live my life to the fullest then i gotta take this leap of faith i gotta move in this unknown in this unseen thing and i gotta have faith for that and i did it worked out of course i fail at several times in the between and things were a little bit tight and i was like kind of like a struggling but it worked out eventually and then i started traveling that was also very very scary because people were like you're traveling why you're traveling and why you want to go there and i was like i just want to go like why you don't have a job there you don't have a business there you don't know anybody there why do you want to go there and i have no answer still like the same thing i don't have the answer i just want to go i want to go and i go there and i stayed i started traveling 14 15 months i was non-stop traveling without any taking any breaks and my parents were like come back home at least for one month and two months stay with us we haven't seen you for a very long time come back why you are traveling so much and all that questions were there and then i came back and right now i'm here in my parents place and i'm gonna go back again traveling my everybody in my circle everybody in my relatives were asking me why do you go for traveling do you had a job there did you have a business there do you know somebody there or you have a partner there or something like they were asking me all questions but i didn't give them any answers because i just do what i want to do it's simple i'm not responsible to give you the answer but that doesn't mean i'm rude with the people or i'm arguing with them or something like that but i'm just here to live my life simple i'm not here to answer the questions of the people makes sense so you gotta have a faith guys because if you have faith then the universe is there for you to support you if you trust it and you take the leap of faith towards that trust and universes have your back always 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 i can tell you based on my own experience always always even when i didn't see the end of the tunnel even when i don't know how it's gonna pull off or where it's gonna happen how it's gonna happen all that stuff universe always have my back universe was like like my best buddy like my best friend and I love the universe so much for this. I'm so, so grateful for everything that universe have given me so far. But you gotta have faith. You can't talk about, I want to live this dream life. I want this, I want that. But then when you're taking the actions, then your thoughts, everything dictates that you don't have faith. You say in one hand that I have the faith, but in the other hand, you take the actions because you're scared, because you're afraid, because you don't have the uh, trust. You can't do like this. When you say you have a faith, you got to have to take actions based on that faith. You can't fake the universe. You can't fake yourself. Makes sense, right? So I'm not telling you to take that huge leap of faith in the unknown and doing the crazy stuff. But I would tell you to start taking the small baby steps toward the dream life that you truly deserve or desire. Because it's there waiting for you. It's there waiting for you to explore it, to actually enjoy it, to cherish it. You got to believe in that. That's going to work out. You got to believe in that because that's what the big people do. If you have seen the entrepreneurs or athletes, they only visualize or they only think in their mind, okay, this thing will going to happen this way and I'm going to get this way. Or I want to reach there and these are the possible steps that I feel right now that I could take to reach there. Of course, when you take these action steps, something new opens up and that you've never seen it before. And then you have to actually take a path a little bit differently. But at the end of the day, you reach there where you want to reach. But you would never reach if you never take a deep of faith to go from here to here. You got to have faith. The faith is the thing that's, that can actually cross any boundaries. There is no time, space, distance for faith. If you say that you want to live that your life, you got to have faith because you're only going to live once and you never, you are not getting older. Sorry, you're not getting younger. Nobody is getting younger. So either you do it right now or you never do it. The, the answer is in your hands. The choice is in your hands. So hopefully this makes sense. Let me know what do you think. Share your experience if you have one. I'll see you the next time. Bye, guys.